Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Wills and I'm here to help you achieve your academic goals. In today's video I'm going to show you how to write a thesis statement for climate change. Now this is an assignment that you may encounter when writing a research paper or an essay on the topic of climate change. So I'll show you the step-by-step -step process that you can use and some examples that you can follow in writing the thesis statement for climate change. So if you find value in this video, just like, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to get more valuable content on academic writing and all other related topics. So without further ado, I've said that uh, I'll first show you the meaning of a thesis statement. Then number two, I will show you the parts of a thesis statement. Then number three, I will show you the step-by-step -step process that you can adopt to write your thesis statement. Then finally, I will share with you a few examples of how a thesis statement within the topic of climate change can be written. So let's get into the first but that is the meaning of a thesis statement. Now what, what do we mean by a thesis statement? Now a thesis statement articulates a writer's main argument, point or message in a piece of writing. Now when you re write a thesis statement you are simply telling your audience what is your topic and what is the position that you've taken about that particular topic. Also, a thesis statement will, will often provide an overview of key supporting arguments that you will be exploring throughout your paper. Now, a well-written thesis statement demonstrates that you have explored the topic thoroughly and you, you are able to defend your claims. So what are the parts of a thesis statement? Number one, the first part of a thesis statement is the topic. What do we mean by the topic? The topic refers to the main subject of your essay. Now, for example, if you are writing on climate change, the main topic could be what are the effects of climate change. Then the position is also the second part of your thesis statement. And the position, I'll give an example. For example, you can say climate change is caused by humans. So those are the two main components of a thesis statement that form an argument. So when you put together the supporting points and the topic, you make a complete thesis statement. Now, in terms of organization, a thesis statement is usually written in one or two sentences. And this is usually found at the end of the introduction paragraph. Now, let us look at an example of a complete thesis statement. 
Now the thesis reads as follows. The destruction of forests by humans has led to increased greenhouse gases in the environment. Addressing this problem will require efforts across countries. So the part, the first part, which is the topic and the main argument, it is in white, as you can see. Now the second part, which is in yellow, is the supporting arguments. Now this second part will uh, give the readers a sense of how the paper will be structured. So how do you compose an effective thesis statement? Now there are things that you need to look at for you to say that your thesis statement is effective. Now, the thesis statement needs to be clear, concise, focused, and supportable. When examiners are evaluating your thesis statement, they look at it in terms of how clear is your thesis. How is it concise? You don't just go writing so many words, so many sentences, and say that you have a thesis statement. Then there is this element of focus. The thesis statement needs to be focused on one main idea. If it is effects of climate change, you need to focus on the effects of climate change. If you are talking about the causes of climate change, your thesis needs to show that you are going to focus on the causes of climate change. Then the last part is that the thesis statement should also be supportable. Okay? Now if it's, let's say you are writing an argumentative essay, you need a thesis statement that can be debated. For example, it should have the pros and the cons, so that the readers are told that your essay is going to be well balanced going to look at both the pros and cons of your topic so I will also look at the next step so when you are writing your thesis statement you should try and follow these five steps that have been developed to write a strong and effective thesis statement. So step number one, you need to read your assignment thoroughly. A thorough reading of your assignment will require you to look at the details in the essay prompt. Okay? This will help you have a good or a clear picture of the topic and what is required in your answer. So just make sure that you are sure about the expectations from the examiner. Then number two, step number two requires you to do a preliminary general research. On that topic here you are expected to do some research collect and organize information about your topic for example you can go online do a search climate change climate change in the United States climate change globally you'll see so many results so it's that time take time to read about the research and collect uh, important information about climate change. Then step number three is to compose a tentative thesis statement. Now when you are composing a tentative thesis statement, you may need to consider a few questions. For example, you may want to answer the question, what is new about this topic of climate change? 
you may also want to answer the question what is important about this topic you may also know, need to answer the question what is interesting about the topic then also you can also answer the question what what have other researchers missed in their discussion about this topic then lastly you also need to consider the question what about this topic is worth writing about because you don't want to go writing about everything okay then step number four you need to do some additional research now once you have narrowed down your focus you can then perform a targeted research to find evidence to support your thesis statement a more targeted research will involve refining your keywords to be more specific to the research question now this will help you to do that additional additional research then the last step is to refine your thesis statement now after doing extensive research and evaluating many, many sources this is the time to rewrite your thesis statement and ensure that it expresses what your perspective or position about the topic is in a more clear and better way so lastly i'm going to show you a few examples of thesis statements on climate change now the first thesis statement is that one that uh, claims about facts for example, today, climate change is the most significant challenge to capitalism. In order to understand how capitalism may evolve as a result of climate change, each of these phenomena must first be understood individually. You see, this statement is making claim about facts, about the relationship between climate change and capitalism so that's the first example then example two is a thesis statement that claims about cause and effect now this statement an example is because they are less prepared financially and logically developing nations will face the most devastating effects of climate change now if you look at this statement it has some aspects of cause and effect now the cause is on the lack of preparation financially and logistically that is it, it means that uh, developing nations do not, do not have the financial and logistical capacity to combat climate change so that is the cause then the effect will be that the, there will be devastating effects of climate change so that is the effect component of this particular thesis statement then there is a third example about claim on solutions now this statement the example reads the strategies to increase reliance on natural gas are not effective against climate change instead policymakers should focus on the geothermal heating for homes and electric vehicle development so you can see there are two claims that i have seen in this thesis statement now the first solution on climate change is geothermal power or energy. Then the second solution is the use of electric vehicles. So that is what you are you are telling the readers. 
Then the last example is a claim about value. Now the example reads as follows. Equity demands that developed nations find a way of tackling climate change That's, that does not undermine growth and poverty reduction in developing nations. Doing so will offer more possibilities for long-term stability in regions likely to be affected by climate change. So in this statement you can see the claims about value. Values such as reduction of poverty and issues of stability. So those are the four examples about uh, thesis statements within the topic of climate change. So if you follow the five steps and the examples are provided, you should be able to write a good effective thesis statement. Remember that a thesis statement is a very important part of your essay and examiners always look at a thesis statement and will tell about the direction your essay is taking. So thank you so much for listening to this video. I will remind you to please like and subscribe to my channel so that you may tell the Google algorithm that uh, this video is of value to you and I en encourage comments you can give me comments in the comment section and uh, lastly I will say that uh, essay writing can be challenging if you are working and if it's new to you if you've not been uh, writing for a very long time writing a thesis statement might be challenging activity so if you are in that category and if you like more help you can just get in touch with me through my email you can also subscribe to my email list where I provide uh, free reviews on uh, essays and papers and other academic Papers. I also provide tutoring services for students who are having difficulties in writing. Yeah, so that is it for now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.